What's going on guys, Kyle Finance Bro here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking to you guys about a biotech penny stock that saw a huge spike in price today, as well as my thoughts on it going forward. Now before we get this video, I just wanna ask you guys to please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely and remind you guys that we post videos like this every single day. If you guys want two free stocks with Weeble, check out our affiliate link in the description below. When you sign up and deposit $100, you guys will get two free stocks on Weeble and we get a free stock as a commission. It's a great way to support the channel. I also wanna say real quick too that we are not financial advisors and none of this is financial advice. Please do your own research and due diligence before investing in any company or security and talk to a registered financial advisor. But other than that guys, let's get right into this video. Ticker symbol ENVB, otherwise known as Enverica Biosciences, is a patient-centric biotechnology company endeavoring to enhance the lives of those who are adversely affected by the side effects of cancer treatments. Now today, March 10th, 2021, we saw a huge spike in price, upwards of 120%. The reason for this is likely due to news that they were going to be acquiring exclusive licensing to acquire novel molecules from diverse biotech. This is huge because this is going to assist their research and development programs, as well as make everything a little bit easier. Now, as far as the price goes, the stock jumped from around $2 a share all the way up to 6 It's very clear a lot of people made money on this stock today, but I want to tell you guys a little bit more about the company if you just invested in it today or if you're thinking about investing it in the future. We're going to run over a bit of the fundamentals and technicals as well as my thoughts on the company long term. So without further ado, let's start with the technicals. Inverit Biosciences was actually founded in 1994. Their current CEO is David Ian Johnson. Their overall market cap is $126.65 million. They're headquartered out of Naples, Florida. The average volume of the stock is around $1.15 million. The volume today was $205.56 million. As you can see, there's a lot of investors investing in the stock. That's what happens when volume goes up, obviously. And if you guys are already seasoned investors, you probably know that. But there are people who are watching this video who have no idea about any of this stuff. So I like to explain stuff at a very basic level so everyone can understand it. So forgive me if I take a little bit of time to explain some stuff sometimes that seems obvious because sometimes it's not to the newer people. So keep that in mind. And unfortunately, they do not have a PE ratio. And just taking a super quick bare bones look at their balance sheet, we actually can see that they do have more more assets than liabilities, which is usually a good sign. Now, if you guys want to delve a little bit deeper into this company, I would definitely recommend going to check out their website and their investor relations page. There's a lot of data and information there that can be really useful. Now, that's a bit about the technicals. Let's get into the fundamentals of this company. As I mentioned before, this is a patient-centric biotechnology company that's trying to develop cures, therapies, and different types of drugs in order to solve the issues that come with the side effects of cancer treatments. I'm sure most of all of you are familiar with the terrible side effects that we can see from things like chemo and radiation therapy and all the horrible things that happen to people people when they actually have to do it. Now, the big thing that Enveric is working on is innovations in the support care industry to try and create better solutions to the side effects that people see from cancer treatments. One of their current solutions that they're working on is their cannabinoid technology. This has to do with cannabis and trying to use cannabis related products to try and ease the side effects from these types of treatments. There's actually a lot of dermatology based issues with radiation treatment. A lot of people end up with rashes or skin ailments after radiation. Right now, it seems like there's various lotion based products that are used to treat this, but there's not anything that does a really good good job of doing it. As you can see here in the picture, the CBD based or cannabinoid based lotion that this company is trying to produce actually works pretty good. It's pretty incredible to see these results and actually have a picture of what it's doing. Now, as far as the market goes, I think the market is still very wide open on this industry. We all know that cancer is a huge part of death in this world. There's a lot of negative side effects that come with the treatments that people have to undergo. I think Inverit can set itself up in a very good situation in order to help a bunch of patients with their side effects from their cancer treatments. The whole goal of Inverit support innovations is to actually help better the quality of life for most patients as well as just make them happier. As far as ethics go, I think that's a great thing for the company to strive for and I think that's something that I really like just personally from a personal standpoint on my opinion on them. And as far as the market goes, I think this is still something that we're going to be dealing with for a very long time. It seems like there really isn't a lot of innovation in the cancer industry in general, let alone the support for people after they undergo treatment. And unless we change drastically from chemo and radiation therapies that have no issues or side effects whatsoever, I could see them fulfilling a very interesting niche. Patients need support care and they need innovations in it that will help them. And that's where I think Invera can sit very nicely. But of course, this is all speculation. We have to see what ends up happening. If the cancer industry does end up drastically changing and we see huge improvements in treatment and as far as side effects go, and Varric might have a hard time trying to compete in that industry. Of course, they'll be able to adapt and create new products, so who knows what will happen. I'm very interested to see where else this company goes, as well as what it's going to do in the future. It seems like they have a lot of potential, but I'm really interested to see what happens next. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys made money at this company today, or if you want to invest in it in general. Also, let me know about any other penny stocks, stocks in general that you want us to talk about. We love to read your guys' suggestions. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new. Make sure to check out the Weeble link in the description below if you guys want two free stocks and its affiliate link, so it's a great way to support the channel. 
channel. And other than that, guys, that's all we have for you guys today. I'm Kyle Finance, bro. Take it easy.